Beast on the Bean and welcome back to Feed the Beast Mage Quest. Yes, we are back here on the uh, on the mod pack that uh, you guys kind of didn't like. <laughs> and um, I'm hoping you will. I'm hoping you're going to get into it. Um, so I'm going to give it another go because I really want to play this one. I really want to. Um, so if you guys do enjoy this episode, then please do hit that like button down below. Also, if you're new to my channel, then please do subscribe for daily Minecraft videos. Right, let's address the issue. I do have um, a new camera software-y thing. And I'm testing it out just to see what it's like. Just to see if it's different. So let me know. It's kind of like a green screen, but there isn't actually a green screen behind me. If I move quick, you'll see I don't actually have a green screen behind me. Um, and just one more thing. Uh, like I say, I'm testing it out. So hopefully you guys will uh, like it. It's a free trial for seven days just to see what it's like. So let me know. Um, and also, um, if you could share my videos, that would really help me out a lot. Massively. Um, so do that, because that would be great. Right, okay. So, I've done a few bits of the quest, because... Uh, um, uh, well, it's Bifta that said, just do quests at, off cam. Um, so, I have. Um, I've done that, and this looks like it's the older version of uh, Britannia, I believe. Uh, let's claim that. Um, and just go and put my living wood and living rock uh, into the, uh, the the chest up here. I've got myself some uh, day blooms. Uh, no, pure daisies, sorry. Um, and they're just making living wood and living rock for me. I do need to get myself a pickaxe uh, so I can collect that. I kind of like this green screeny type thing. It's kind of cool. Um, it's nifty. Uh, do I have a pickaxe spare? Um, I don't believe I do uh, okay let's just make one then um, I've got plenty of materials to be doing that uh, three of those isn't it I need mean. um, there we go done like that so what we've done is if you remember last episode it told us to choose uh, our path of what we would like to learn now I realized after Bifter told me uh, that I made a mistake and did not choose uh, craft which is something that I really wanted to do so I have now set it up so that I can uh, I can do form craft and all, all I did was do HQM edit and then um, I just um, I used the edit book which I've got in here is it in here there it is uh, just to reset the quest so that I could uh, start up the thorn craft stuff and uh, I've, I've got a thorn craft chest over here so that's there for the uh, for the thorn craft part of this series uh, but for now we're gonna focus on Britannia um, I've already got myself some day blooms um, all set up I want I've got to make some nightshades next that's um, part of the quest but we've got mana already in the mana pool um, and we built a mana spreader the recipes are slightly different this time uh, because a mana pool is like this. It's um, you, you make a diluted mana pool, uh, which you then take out, and we'll place that back in there. And then you take your diluted mana pool, and you throw it not on top of there like that. <laughs> should have thrown it. You press Q and throw it in there, and then you get a proper mana pool. So that's what that's all about. So I am going to place that right there, and hopefully... The focus will start focusing on here. Let me just check. Uh, yes, it is. Right, that's okay. Uh, so that mana pool is kind of redundant now. Because this one holds a lot more than this one. So that's why we've got that. Right, so the next quest is to make nightshades, I believe. Uh, let me just check. Uh, right, we've done that one. Uh, oh, we get some hydrogen jazz. We will take those. They are cool. Um, right, let's go and make a tool. We need a shovel. A shovel. I'm, I'm struggling to get in my door. I don't know what's going on there. That's really strange. Uh, we need a shovel. Let's, let's take that then. And there is a specific way of making these. I've got five. So, if I do it like this. Let me see. Let me see. So, I want... I think it's four. No, I want to. It's a nine by nine. Yes, I've got sand underneath. And then I want this like this, this like this, uh, that like that, and that like that. And then if we go and grab ourselves. 
Can we grab some water? Yes, we can. And we place water inside here, like so. Um, let's just fill this up quickly. Do you like my little Britannia area? Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, comment um, Flatlands. I don't know <laughs> if you made it that far. I don't know whether that's a source block now or not. I'm not sure. I'm a, I'm a bit nervous that I haven't quite got that right. It's that one, isn't it? That's. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Right, let's just put the Hydro Gingers, or whatever they're called, in here. Uh, let's put some dirt down. Let's put some more dirt down. And uh, that's got dirt. And, and some more dirt here. Uh, is that sandstone? Okay, we'll break that out. There we go. And put some dirt down. Now we can just put these here, like so. And what these will do, they will start drinking the water and producing mana for us. Uh, I could, I guess, could I, could I put one there? Uh, no, I can't because that's sand. And if I just do that and do that, no, it doesn't. It doesn't work, does it? It doesn't work. That's a shame. That is a shame. How how else can I do this? Look, they're drinking. They're drinking. So I need to make sure they're hooked up to the mana spreader over there. That one's hooked up. Um, is is that one connected? Um, I can't quite tell. No, it isn't. No, it's too far away. That's okay. What we'll do is we'll make ourselves another mana spreader. Um, so we can get that mana going into our mana pool. Because the more mana we can generate, the better. Um, right, so we need some gold. Uh, we're going to need a petal. Uh, we'll just take the orange one. That'll do. And then we're going to need some living wood. Uh, to make this this mana spreader. I didn't think I would have to make so many, but there we go. Uh, so the recipe is like that, like that. Uh, your piece of gold just there, and that like that. It's an old recipe. Like I say, this isn't the updated Batania. Um, yeah, it's kind of like a, a, a watered down version of what we're used to. Um, so let's just put the mana spreader... If I put it here like so and then can we focus it where's my wand can we uh if we do bind mode click on that and then click on that is it gonna ring are you gonna are you gonna there we go there we go right mana is now <laughs> entering into there and uh if i just take that out of bind mode and function mode that should all right that one's connected to that one uh, that one's connected to that one. That's good. Uh, that one is connected there. And that one is connected over here. Yeah, over here. All right, so we got one more. I kind of want to make use of it. Um, I don't want to waste this. I want to make some, some use of this. So if I do a, a four like that, and then take that one out there and fill this up, Am I able to use this as a... Uh, please don't drink that water source block. Not just yet. Please. There we go. <laughs> right, that's an unlimited water source. Can I put this into here? And then that one there. And will it bind up to that? Yes, it does. So that should be making massive amounts of mana now. That should be... There's not a lot in there, is there? Let's be honest. I mean... That's blasting an awful lot, but it's it's not doing good enough. We need more mana. We need more mana up in this house, please. Um, okay. So nobody answered me what that's all about. Um, so if you want to tell me, that would be kind of cool. If you can somehow figure it out and, and tell me. <laughs> right, okay. So we've done that. Uh, equivalent exchange. Uh, Call of the Hunter, The Truth You'll Know, and In the Cauldron Go, and then we've got the Botanist's Bone Meal, uh, or the Botanist Bone Meal, should I say. I'm going to make some nightshades. I'm going to make, how many? Five nightshades, and, um, and we're going to carry on just doing that, because why not? We can, we can get an awful lot of mana, so uh, N-I-G-H-T, nightshade is two black one gray one purple two black one gray one purple so we want to make five 
So, do, 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 do. Uh, we've got that as well. I don't know what that does yet. Um, that's light grey. That is normal grey. Um, two black. One black there. Oh, we've got loads of black ones. Um, I want to make five. So, two, four, six, eight, ten. I would make if I did five of those. Um, do I have enough grey? I've got light grey. I've only got a few grey ones. And what was the other one? Purple. Magenta. Um, purple. Ah, oh, there we go. Um, let's do seven of those as well. I, I mean, I, I don't really want to waste all my grey, but we're going to use them in the end anyway, aren't we? I mean, we might as well. There we go. Right, so that's 11. Uh, how many seeds we got? We got five seeds. I'm sure I've got more seeds somewhere. There we go. Cool. Let's go make these nightshades then. It's quite a boring thing to do, but if we get like a little system going here where we got our seeds all um, all set up, let's um, move those over, and then it's two of those. So one, two, one one and that. there we go that gives us a nightshade so we want to do this five times really or as many times as um as our our petals will allow at least there we go I, I, we're, we're close to five already we're doing all right um so one two one one and the seeds, there we go. And if we do it one more time, that is it. That is all we can do. I was hoping we could do more, but never mind. It's okay, because uh, we will get some uh, from the quest. So, questing. Uh, nightshade, pick one reward, we'll claim that. I do have some uh, loot bags to open, so I will sort those out in a moment. Let's just um, let's put these nightshades down. So, you can't put them... Uh, next to each other you have to do in in a kind of a weird pattern really uh, so we'll put that one there. no we can't put that one there um, we can put one there and we can put one just there and they'll all connect up somehow uh, I think one can go next to that and we can have one there and um, no one can't go there can't go there, can't go there. Let's put one there. <laughs> this is really difficult. I don't know whether that can go there because that's next to that one, isn't it? Let's just move it down here. Um, let's put one there and we'll put one over here. There we go. Done. Hopefully, I don't know whether that one's going to work. I honestly don't feel like that will work. It's that there. Um, uh, let's put it there. There we go. Done. Right, so we should be getting a massive amount of mana now, right? There's really there's, there's more in there in the diluted mana pool than there is in that one. And I know the reason why. It's because it's because this is a diluted one, so it's, it looks more full than it actually is. Whereas this one, it, it takes a lot more mana inside of it, so it doesn't look as full. But trust me, there is, there is a fair bit in there. Um, right, anyway, so let's find out what these are connected to. That's connected to that. Uh, that's connecting to that. Does this one connect to that one over there? Let's have a look. Yeah, that's connecting. That's connecting to there. Yeah, we are we are generating mana like a boss right now. Okay, still not enough. It is still not enough. Right, so uh, Endo Flames. Endo flames, day blooms and nightshades are well and good for dipping your toes into mana generation, but they're kind of slow, don't you think? Let me show you how to keep, kick it up a notch, and then before you know it, you'll be drowning in concentrated mana. Don't look so shocked. I jest. Nothing can produce mana in quite the quantities necessary to drown somebody, unless it was in a fishbowl. That might work. So this one's a bit more powerful giving you a quick and dirty blast of mana as it burns up any combustible fuels such as coal. Its increased potency does, however, come with the fact that it is much less self-sustained. You might like it, though. Okay, so an endo flame. Let's find out how we create... How many have we got to do? We've got to make one endo flame. So how do we make an endo flame? 
Endo Flame, there we go. So, it's in the Petal Apothecary again. Uh, we want a brown, a red, a red mana petal, a brown mana petal, and a mystical light grey. Okay, so, let's go into our, our chest for Batania. And uh, we'll throw those in. Uh, was it light grey or grey it wanted? Let me just check one more time. Um, it was uh, brown, brown, light grey, red, and red. So we want two reds, two browns, and one light grey. Easy. Um, two reds, two browns. That's a brown. And then red. I should have some reds. Two reds and one light grey, right? Yep, there we go. Right, okay. So, uh, if we turn those in like that and like that, we go over to the mana pool. Um, and we should be able to use up the mana in both pools, I hope. Um, so, it is one brown, which we need to throw in just like this. That didn't work. <laughs> one brown, which we need to throw in just like this. There we go. And that gives us a brown mana, mana leaf thing. And we throw that one in there, and that gives us a red one. And then we come over here, put the water in like so, and then we click Q, 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 and then we need just the grey one. There we go. And the seeds. And there we go. That gets us an endo flame. Never used one of these before. Um, never got this far in Britannia. But as far as I know, um, let me just claim my reward as well. Uh, carbon footprint. I'm going to take another endo flame. And I'm going to put it just here. And I'm going to head over to my my, uh, my my workbench here. And I should have... Yeah, there we go. Lots of coal. Let's go and throw some coal at these things. Because I've never used them before. Uh, let me just... Check where, sorry, excuse me. <laughs> Let me just check where they're connected to. So, if we throw that at it, is that going to eat that up? All right, why did that come back to me? I haven't even. Oh, I have got magnet mode on. Let's turn magnet mode off and let's just throw like loads of coal at these endo flames because I'm pretty sure this is how they work. Like they eat the coal, do they? It looks like they're eating it. I think they are. I mean, is it is it working? Is that one working? I think I think they're working. Yeah, look, the coal's gone, and the endo flame must then be producing it, right? So let's just throw that at those and let them do their thing, and they can produce mana for me like a boss, as the game says. Let me just check. Let's see how our mana pool's doing. Yeah, we're filling up. We're definitely filling up. But I don't know whether that's... Oh, I, don't, I don't know. I can't tell. I'm just going to go with a... Yeah, I think they are because that is bursting an awful lot. If I take my wand away, you can see that that is bursting every couple of seconds. So that has definitely got to be filling it up. Right, okay. So now we've completed that. It's opened up a whole load of quests. And there's one of these flowers that I'm really, really interested in using at some point, And that is this one. It's called a Hopper Hawk. Um, it is kind of cool. It is kind of cool. Right. Al Alchemy Catalyst we need to make. Do we do that now or do we make this? Which are not the Runic Altar. Where's the, uh, the, the spreadery thing? Yeah, we can make a mana tablet. That's really easy. Uh, we don't have any ender pearls. We're not going to do that. Call of the Hunter. Um, okay. All right. Let's do equivalent exchange and make an alchemy catalyst. That's that can't be too hard, right? So let's do that. Alchemy. I'm not even spelling that correctly. Uh, wow. Okay, we can't make that because we don't have a mana pearl. We don't have any brewing stands yet. Uh, so that's just impossible. We're going to forget that one and have a look at what else we can do. Uh, in and out, uh, Exoflame. Wow, okay. So the Exoflame 
can smell items in nearby stone furnaces by using mana. That's clever. That is very clever. Okay, the truth you'll know. The runic altar. I think I should be able to produce that. I hope. Uh, runic altar. So, a mana diamond I can do. I can do a mana diamond. I do have diamonds. I did go and do some mining before I started recording. And uh, we do have some diamonds in here. We have actually 28 um, vein miner OP. That's all I'm going to say. Um, so, to make a, a mana diamond, we just head over here. Is, is that eating that coal or is that going to despawn? I'm a bit worried that's going to despawn. I'll just throw like five out for now. Okay, so, a mana diamond. That's not going to work in there, but it will work in there if we throw that like that. That gives us a mana diamond. And then in here, if we grab some living wood, we need just two more pieces. There we go. We don't, actually. It's just like this, isn't it? Uh, and that makes the runic altar happy about that. There we go. Oh, and we get a mana pearl. And five mana diamonds. Thank you very much, game. I do like you a lot. Um, so we're doing really well. Uh, we could start off with the runes. Yeah, mana glass. I've never made mana glass. That's interesting. I, I can't make mana pearls. I would like to, but I can't. Um, I can make mana steel. I want to do this one, though. Let's make a mana tablet. Um, and all this does is it allows you to take mana from one mana pool and put it into another. So we could use that. Um, right now, so man uh, tablets. Uh, it's just this one, the basic one, and it is a man of diamond uh, surrounded by living rock. Easy, right? Um, we need eight again. There we go. Right, I, I knew I was right with the eight at some point. There we go. Done, and that gives us a mana tablet. There we go, and we get to claim a reward bag, which we're going to go and open a load in a moment. So, uh, we have to set this on, I think it's... Uh, is it this we have to set? Sparing mana to items. There we go. And then if we throw our mana... Are, are you joking? If we throw our mana tablet in there, you'll see that it empties out. And then we can, um, right, what, is this accepting or spare? This should be accepting, right? Well, let's move this out of the way because this, this is done with. This one we are finished with. We can actually throw it in there and make it into a proper mana pool. We'll do that at a later date. This has got mana. So if I, if I, if I shift and click, I forgot what button I pressed. Accepting mana from items. There we go. And then if we queue that into there, that will empty itself. It'll empty all the mana. And there we go. That is that done. And you guys have eaten all that coal already. Well done. There we go. Um, but there we go. That's um, our, our start into Britannia. What I'll do is I will go do some mining. I'll get some um, some obsidian. I'll create a portal to the nether. I will go and get some blaze rods. Uh, so that we can start creating uh, some some uh, the, the potion stands or whatever they're called, and um, yeah, yeah, we can get further in into Britannia, and then once we've completed Britannia, it's on to Thorncraft. Um, but guys, hopefully you did enjoy. Um, please let me know if you did. Um, that would be awesome. Uh, also, let me know what you think of the camera. Does it look kind of cool or not? Um, and uh, if you did enjoy, then please do share because that really, really does help out a lot. But thank you very much for watching. I've been Stomp the Beam. This has been Feed the Beast Mage Quest. Good.